finally Friday morning, and let's go over to Annalise. She's got an update on the weather for us. Hi there, Karen. Yeah, the, this morning we're starting off not as cold as yesterday. Most of us several degrees above freezing, and we have seen some clouds kind of stream in from the southwest, so that's helping us out. Those clouds are going to keep building through the day today ahead of our next storm system that's still back to the west, but this is quickly going to be racing off to the east through the central plains as we make our way into the weekend. So we do have some rain. I'll talk more on that in a moment. Right now, though, all you need to know is just grab that jacket. 34 degrees. It does feel like 28 when you factor in a southeast wind at 7. But temperatures across the board are above freezing with 34 in McKinney, 36 in Denton, and even a couple of spots there at 40, including Dallas. So not too bad when you think about it being late January. Certainly not too bad when you look at the rest of today's forecast. We're at 57 by 1 o'clock. Our highs topping out around 60. We will see more clouds, though, into the afternoon, and we're going to be seeing more wind as well. Winds right now under 10 miles per hour, and I really don't expect we have any big issues into the morning. It's when we get into the afternoon, but especially into this evening, where we're starting to see those winds pick up ahead of this storm system that is on its way. Winds up to 20, 25 miles per hour into the afternoon. But look at where we're headed tonight. Wind gusting up to 35 miles per hour could have some spots closer to 40. That's overnight tonight and into early on Saturday. And again, it's all associated with a cold front. That's the reason for that change. We'll really start to notice the changes, though, as we get into overnight. Clouds are filling in. And then eventually we're talking about those scattered showers, likely in the early morning hours tomorrow. Looks like the favored area is our northern half, so I would say north of I-20. Scattered showers, 6 o'clock, all the way through midday. This is 1 o'clock. You can see how fast we're going to be able to clear things out. And then behind that front, not only does the rain leave us, but the clouds do too. A lot of sunshine, but a lot of wind as we head into Saturday afternoon. So your forecast, as we do take a look at that weekend, we are going to see the warmest day on Saturday, 71 degrees after that front does clear. We'll keep the rain focused in the morning. Winds up to 30 miles per hour. That's a sustained north wind in the afternoon. And then into Sunday, it's still a breezy day. We're actually waiting for the cooler air to arrive Saturday night and into Sunday. That's why it is going to be about 15 degrees cooler as we round out the weekend. And then as we look ahead to next week, well, we're starting February 58. Not too bad. We keep on warming into Wednesday with highs in the low 70s.